What's going on, guys? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Lee Godbold with Junk Removal Authority. Uh, found co-founder of Junk Doctors, Junk Removal and Hauling, uh, over a two million dollar a year junk removal company. Within uh, the first six years of operation, co-founder of Junk Removal Authority, uh, we build, uh, we do SEO, search engine optimization, Google Ads, and build websites and provide training for the junk removal industry. Uh, it is about 7.30 on a uh, Monday evening. I've got about another hour and a half worth of work here, so I'm going to run across the street to Chick-fil-A, grab a quick bite to eat, get back over here, and get back to work. This is the life that uh, when you go off and you want to, you decide you want to be a big-time entrepreneur, you want to uh, really blow your business up, you want to dominate your market, you want to control your market, you want to get more junk removal jobs, or you want to prov provide more help with people's websites, their, help their SEO out, improve their Google search rankings, kind of provide some unique stuff with paper job. That's the stuff we're doing. Uh, that's the, that, th this is the life that you're going to have for a good little period of time when you first get going. You got to be obsessed over it. You got to be excited about it. You got to be just willing to work. Um, I got into the office today about uh, about 8.30 in the morning. I was up doing a little bit of work. I got up about uh, about 6.45 is when I woke up. So I, it's not in, it's not crazy, crazy early anymore. Back when I ran junk, junk removal in, we'd be, I'd be up at 5.30 in the morning because I'd have to be in the office at 6.30. But um, now that Christian's pretty much handling that, uh, I, you know, about 6.45 I wake up. A lot of times it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just laying in bed thinking about what I've got to do the day. Now, I planned it out the day before, but it's just thinking my thoughts are getting my thoughts together. I'm thinking about, I might look at my phone, you know, I might kind of get caught up on, on, on kind of what's going on in the world. And then I'm thinking about, all right, this is what I'm working on today. These are my ideas. This is where I want to go. This is what we want to do. Get all that together. And then I get into the, you know, get take care of a little bit of stuff at home. I get into the office generally about 8.30 to 9 o'clock. And I'm normally working until 7 or 8 in the evening. And then when I get at the office, then when, then I go get something to eat. When I get home, um, you know, I'll, I'll play with my dog, uh, spend a little bit of time, about an hour with my wife. And generally, I'll do about another hour worth of work before I get to sleep. It's, it, it is, it's, it, you know, uh, it's obsessed and it's a good thing. So, um, you know, uh, it's, it, it's a good thing to really, really be that committed to, to your business. There's nothing unhealthy about it, guys. You know, uh, some people are, Addicted to football, uh, you know, watching sports all the time, addicted to television, addicted to Netflix. They spend six hours every night watching Netflix. Instead, you're spending six hours at night working. So, you know, it's uh, what's more healthy or building, building a dream, building a business, you know, building a future where you're not going to have to work that hard. What's more important, doing that or watching Ozarks or, or uh, how to get away with murder or whatever else is on, on Netflix uh, nowadays. So, um, if you're going to compete at a high level, which I would not say nobody should be getting into junk removal now, unless you're committed to competing at a high level, the space is getting too crowded with, with, with myself out there, out here making YouTube videos, uh, with, with the three or four other guys out here making YouTube videos, it's just, uh, unless you're going to really, really commit to a, control your market, and, and, you know, unless you're willing to control that market to, to really, really go after the top, to chase, to go after Got Junk, to try and take business from them, to try and deal with that level of customer, a customer willing to pay a high price, uh, then, uh, then, then a high and fair price, then you don't want to get in the, dang, the game. There's too many people getting in at the bottom. If you're trying to get in at the bottom... If you're going to compete at the bottom, if you're going to try and compete just on Craigslist, maybe do a little bit of Yelp. Yelp's got business out in the California, but in a lot of areas it doesn't. You know, maybe do a little bit of Yelp um, by putting, you know, putting flyers out, that kind of stuff. Yard signs. If you're going to rely on that type of advertising, uh, then you probably don't want to get in the game. There's too many guys out there already doing it. That's going to drive the bottom of the market. And then we got uh, the, we got the uh, the tackle app. We got load up. Um, you know, you got these apps coming on, coming on now. It's again, it's all about bottom price. It's all about bottom feeders. If you're going to compete at the bottom nowadays, the price is going down, guys. It's going down. The price is going down. But us at the top, us at the top, we're, we're really investing in advertising. We've been raising our rates. Our rates have been going up. So you can be at the bottom where it's getting really, really crowded, 
uh, where the prices are going down, or you can you can play you can play up top with the big dogs that are where that are driving the, the driving prices up. It's your choice. Uh, one way the up up top the big dogs you're gonna have to work harder. Uh, at least in the short term, you're gonna have to accept making less money in the short term, but you're gonna be set up to really, really roll, to really have some high profits uh, come year three on out. Again, year three on out with an aggressive advertising platform where you're doing really good work and you're reaching a bunch of people. Eighty to one hundred ten thousand dollars cash flow, very well possible year three, year five, two hundred thousand dollars plus cash flow. That's net profit or cash flow. Net profit might even be higher. That is free cash flow, 200K plus year five, very, very well doable, at least 180K, very well doable with a committed and, uh, and, and aggressive advertising platform with hard work, with 12-hour days, 14-hour days at the start. You're going to open up yourself for a level of freedom by year three on out That's uh, where you don't have to do that, at least not do it as consistently. Uh, and where you're working on the stuff you want to work on, where you can go out of town and not have to worry about it. But you got a good two year, two to three year of just busting your ass to really, really compete up top with the big dogs. That's where you want to be. You want to be up top. You want to commit to really control your market. You want to uh, tackle it the JRA way. Or do you want to play with the play with the guys at the bottom, the guys that are driving the price down? You want your call prices going up, your profits going up, or you want to have a race to the bottom by competing with this with, with the guys at the bottom it's your choice we're here to help 919-617-1975 919-617-1975 check us out at junkra.com for a lot of great free information articles videos and to learn more about the junk removal authority thanks guys